Hi scholars, we have another learning at home lesson today. Our lesson is going to be a reading language arts lesson. So let's get started with our learning goals. Today we have two learning goals. The first learning goal says, I will listen to a story and identify the character or characters in that story. And our next learning goal is I will draw and write about key details in the story. Okay, so let's get started. I made an anchor chart for us so that we can remember what characters are. So let's review that. We talked about that in our class, but let's make sure we remember. So characters are the people, animal, or creatures in a story. For example, when we read Stick and Stone, the characters of Stick and Stone were Stick and Stone. Those were the creatures in the story. When we heard the story of Pete the Cat the other day in our Zoom meeting, the character in that story was Pete. Okay, so next I'm going to let you watch a character's video on Brain Pop just so that we get our juices going and our brain thinking. Okay, so let me bring that over. We're gonna listen and watch this movie about characters. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Movie, come on, get into it. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes ears you have. Moby, the wolf is the most exciting character in Little Red Riding Hood, and you're not even trying. What is a character? Well, what is a character? One of my favorite tales is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There are four characters in the story. Characters are the people in the story. Uh, right. I guess characters don't have to be people. Just anyone in the story. Most of the stories I read have one really important character. You know, like a main character. In this story, Goldilocks is the main character. She's the star. But that doesn't mean that the bears aren't important. I guess characters work together to show what happens in the story. Hmm. What are characters like? Nice day for a picnic, huh, Moby? Hey, check out those ants. They're totally stealing our food. No, Moby, you can't squash them. They're just doing their job. Yeah, that grasshopper isn't doing much at all. In fact, he seems pretty lazy. But the ants are working really hard. I guess these characters are pretty different. Some stories have characters that are brave, or scary, or greedy. And some characters set their mind to things and really work hard. Well, in this story, the ants work hard, getting food for the winter while the grasshopper just sits around and eats. Kind of like you, Moby. But then the winter comes and the grasshopper is cold and hungry and he learns his lesson. I like this story because the main character learns something. Hmm, how can characters change in a story? In The Ugly Duckling, the main character goes from being sort of a weird looking bird into a beautiful swan. I guess a character in a story can change just like people in real life. I think they go through bigger changes than that, Moby. 
In this story, the ugly duckling isn't the only one who goes through a change. The other ducklings realize that they shouldn't make fun of other birds, so they change too. It can be hard to understand everything that happens to characters. What can you do to understand characters better? Sometimes when I read, I don't really get a character if they're so different from me. It helps if I can compare them to people I do understand. Well, Pinocchio is really different from me because he's a boy. And he's a puppet made of wood. But Pinocchio is like you, Moby, because you both get in trouble. Like last week when you broke a window and lied about it. I guess Pinocchio and Moby learned the same lesson. You shouldn't lie, Moby. Yes, you did. Cut it out. Anyway, I guess there's tons of different ideas to remember. How can you organize ideas about characters? Maybe I can chart their character traits. I can describe what the characters look like and what they do and feel and how other people feel about them. Let's see. The wolf's traits. Well, he definitely has big ears and teeth and he eats people and everyone is scared of him. Oh, and he's sneaky too because he keeps dressing up like grandma. See, Moby? You can use my chart and really get into the wolf's character. <laughs> that was a great movie that Moby did in his friend about characters and character traits. Now, we're going to move on to our story for today. So, I'm going to be reading you this story called Just Me and My Dad. Now, I want you to listen while I read the story because after I'm finished, it will be your homework to draw the characters that are in this book. And then you will write about key details from the story. So you can have a paper ready for when we're done reading, or you can draw as I read. So on one side, you can draw the characters and maybe label some traits about the characters in the story. And then, so that we're not wasteful, we can turn it around when we're done with the characters and write your name and draw some key details from the story. So I started mine and I wrote in the story, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's get started. Just Me and My Dad by Mercer Mayer. Just me and my dad. We went camping, just me and my dad. Dad drove the car because I'm too little. Yeah, he's too little. Okay, so I'm already finding some characters in the visual clues. I picked the campsite but someone was already living there, so I gave it back. Oh no! <laughs> That's silly. We found another campsite nearby. My dad was tired, so I pitched the tent. Oh no, did he do a good job? Well, there's a character trait about the boy, he works hard. We made a campfire. I found the wood and my dad lit the fire. So I know that they work together as a team to make a fire. 
I wanted to take my dad for a ride in our canoe, but I launched it too hard. Oh, but he keeps trying. That's a good character trait. Oh, do you see what's peeking behind? Oh no, it's a bear. Hope it doesn't go bother them. We went fishing instead of canoeing. Oh, wow. My dad took a snapshot of the fish we caught. Then I cooked dinner for me and my dad. Also, here's his picture. And here he is trying to cook dinner for his dad. Hmm, so who are those characters that keep appearing in the story? Oh no, this is a funny detail from the story. Who took the food, guys? Oh no, how would you feel if a bear came and took your food? Not so happy like him and his dad. We had eggs. After dinner, I told my dad a ghost story. Boy, did he get scared. I gave my dad a big hug that made him feel better. Then we went to bed. Oh, so he is caring because He's hugging his dad that tells me he's a caring boy. I stayed up with my dad and let him read a story to me. Oh, that's another great character trait for a dad. He's patient and he reads stories to his boy. We slept in our tent all night long, just me and my dad. <gasps> oh, so at the end of that story, I heard in the text who those characters are from the story. Okay, so remember, for today's home learning assignment, on a piece of paper, write and draw who the characters of the story are. And you can also write traits of those characters. Next, turn your paper around and draw and write some key events from the story. Okay, scholars, don't forget to take a picture or a video of your complete work and send it to me. Have a great day.